hello guys uh, today I'm gonna show you how to work with UI image views what are UI image views UI image views are holders holder views for UI images you can add images to UI image image views so let's dive into Xcode and make a project with view based application image view to projects now I need a few images so I already downloaded a few images I'll just go to the folder <laughs> drag and drop these files so they're in there now go to the supporting files here add a new group call it images and I will add files to image view hmm see for some reason I can't see project yet yeah <laughs> okay let's let's wait for a little while let's go to the image view XIV let's go ahead and make what uh, make a UI image view so first let me hide this go ahead add three buttons to our view so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add three buttons and what will happen is every time someone clicks on one of these images in one of these buttons it will show one of those images that we are going to add to the project so once I'm done with that I'm gonna drop a UI image view to this say so let's make it this big now that's it let's go back to our images let's see if it recognizes the file still nothing see I created inside this folder you can see it here you can know why it's not recognizing it and so let me just drag and drop this oops copy finish okay so the images are added let's go and run it once and see if everything is right for some reason why this is here cancel can't even cancel it thing wrong with the xcode probably <laughs> okay let's go ahead and see what's going on so simulators back up <laughs> so we should have three buttons with the uh, empty ui image view and there we go three buttons now let's add a uh, click on ui image view <laughs> and let's go to his properties and add the first image default basketball so we have that image in there <laughs> so now let's go back to our view controller files and the outlet mm, what is what are we looking for UI button 1 I will, mm, button star button 1 let's copy this paste it for 3 buttons let's make a let UI image image view star G view so we have an image view and we need a IV action that is when a button is pressed action hmm button click will also pass a variable with it which is a UI button star and call it a sender so we know which button was clicked so we don't need to write three functions let's go ahead and implement this function go ahead and mm, write the copy the function now I'll say if sender dot tag I will use tags what are tags if I go here click on a button I can add tags to the button let's call it one 
let's call this one two and let's call this one three so three tags for three buttons let's go to the code and let's instead of just writing each if statement i can just write switch statement expression is sender dot tag so whatever the tag is if it's one do this if it's two do this and if it's three do this so we have one two three and the default we don't need the default right now but still let it be there and if it's the first one put in case one um, so we can say that what is the name of image view img view img view image equal to uh, what is our image name ui image uh, image named for some reason my intelligence is also not working uh, image named one dot png two dot png and we need one more that is three dot png so depending on which button is pressed should change the image uh, i just ran it but i don't think it's gonna work so let's go back and connect everything first go to file owners go to connections and we add things up button one button two and button three and my view and I need to connect the function also mm. touch up inside mm. do it button clicked button clicked I can also go the other way so we have all the three three buttons having the function so let's run the application now and see if we get all of it one two three perfect it works just fine so now we want to do something similar using using some code so what we gonna do is let's go to this and let's copy these paste it here instead of this let's suggest so UI button and UI image view so let's say one but code 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 image view code let's write a different function for this one call it void button code clicked button sender implement this function and copy the same things I'm gonna use the same thing that's why I'm you copying the same <laughs> image view this one is called code is it see image view code yep so image view code image view code I will instead of using I'll use different tags four five and six so this will work just fine now I need to add the buttons now buttons I will add in view did load because that's the first function that is called when the when the view is loaded so I'll go here uh, let's see what all we need we need these things so copy that paste it here need a button this one button 3 and a image view code so I want these three things uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and type UI button button with forgot uh, what is the function for that button with type with type uh, UI button rounded right oh 
what is it called let's go ahead and UI button type button type rounded right not just so we have that next let's copy this for the rest of them okay next I need is a button code one dot tag and if you remember we said four mm. next need a bunch of different things but without interlistens working can't actually work with that so let me pause and let's see why it's not working next code and everything looks like it's working fine again so button code let's continue code uh, we have to give a title so set title mm -hmm. let's say four four state ui control state normal next i need to give button code one uh, add target it's in current selector what is the name of the thing it's called button clicked button code clicked code clicked with ui control event touch up inside so there we go so we have that next i need is a frame then code one dot frame equal to so i need to add it just below the ui image view that we have here so which coordinates are 20 by 72 width this height is 134 so say 200 220 set it at 220 hmm. dot code is equal to cg rec make x is say 10 to 20 width is say 100 height is 30 that's 8880 80, 80. okay uh, now button code next is we'll just add it to the view self dot view add sub view then code one so we added that to the same for two and three so i'll paste it a couple of times let's call it two 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 have this five Hmm. Call it five. Select the same. X will become round hundred and two. So next go to the next one. Three. Copy this. Paste it. Paste it. Paste here and here. Okay. So now hundred and eighty. So let's call it two hundred. So this one. Let's call it six. Six and now we need to add a UI image view code image view allocate in it with frame make let's say 10 make y as 260 width is let's say width is 300 height is say around 100 or maybe 120 or maybe even just 200 so, so we have that image view code dot image equal to let's give a default image image named uh, at the rate one dot png so give that and then as a cell dot view add sub view image image view code there we go let's run it and see if it works we have this one working let's try this one yep works so that's how you do using programmatically and using interface builder interface builder looks very clean because it's kind of drag and drop and we know the coordinates but it takes a little time